Same old, same old. 230, bridge crew. Go up there and get over there with Jorge. Find out if he needs any rigging or anything to fly his business in. Welcome to Denali Park in Alaska. It's one of the last wild frontiers in the United States where you've got incredible grandeur, beauty, wildlife that you're only gonna see in this part of the U.S. And unfortunately, that access has been cut off. We are currently in the Polychrome Pass area. The landslide has cut off the road access to the point where they couldn't maintain it anymore. And hence, the Polychrome Pass project came about a couple years ago to restore the access to the end of the park. Yeah, over the last 20 years, the permafrost and the ground has become unstable. Four years ago, they had to close it permanently because the slide was speeding up and gaining so much momentum, they couldn't keep up with it. We're playing a role in restoring that access, and we're incredibly proud and honored to be a part of the team that's doing so. The major challenge with this project is geotechnical. There's a slow moving landslide that's caused the road to wash away and the maintenance crews here at the park can no longer keep up with maintaining it for safe public access or bus access across it. There's a lot of things to figure out and it's not just about what the bridge is gonna look like and how are we gonna build the bridge, it's like how are we gonna get there? I mean, if you come out on site here, you will see you're on a postage stamp and access with a pickup is like a one lane road, let alone multiple traffic of vehicles and equipment and staging and everything else. To facilitate a little bit more efficiency with you know workers traveling to and from the site, along with keeping buses moving within that first 45 miles, we set up a camp about halfway up at milepost 27 to house all the workers. As soon as we found out this project was going to be advertised as a construction manager general contractor delivery method, we assembled a team of specialty subcontractors to support Granite to deliver this project effectively and efficiently. So one thing we're used to in Alaska is your working season is very limited. You work from May to October, and the farther north you get, the shorter that season becomes. So we went out and got specialty subs, and they can provide a ton of value during pre-construction to make sure it's done right. So if we waited another year to get out here, well, it would have been much more difficult to get through it or it may not have been able to happen. The biggest challenge we had was figuring out how do we erect a bridge, a complicated long span bridge in that environment. My favorite person at this entire job site is Roxanne the cook because of the wonderful food that she puts together for us. My favorite person's gotta be Roxy. It's Roxy. Well, I hope that I can take my family over this bridge one day and say that I played a role in allowing the park to continue to stay open and allow people to continue seeing Alaska's beauty. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to build an iconic bridge in an iconic park for the National Park Service. Every time I come out here, I kind of have to pinch yourself to you know, say you had the opportunity to be a part of that. And for me, being able to say, hey, you know that bridge that's out at Polychrome Pass? Goes, yeah, we, we built that, I was a part of that. And that's, you know, it's proud, proud to be a part of Granite, proud to be a part of the project, and kind of proud to be able to say I worked with everybody that's out here that's done such a great job.